Hello Light Travellers, so today's two weeks since I got back from Thailand. I spent roughly a month there with a six kilogram pack weight. So I'm just going to give you a run through of what I packed and uh, the features of my bag. And today's also the day that I'm launching the Kickstarter, so if you'd like to support that, go ahead and check the link in the description. So here at the top or the side we have a pocket which I've been using for my uh, headphones and for my sunglasses. We also have a grab handle here and uh, this current pack weighs about six kilograms. So on the inside you'll notice I also have some custom designed packing cubes. The first one here I have packed with my uh, toiletries. So take a quick look inside. Uh, I have some Old Spice deodorant. I have uh, my retainer, uh, a hairbrush, and I have a pocket towel here. And inside this I have my usual uh, earbuds, uh, travel soap and um, shaving soap, shaving brush, a styptic pencil, tweezers, uh, sorry tweezers, nail clippers, and floss and a toothbrush and some toothpaste as well. So the next one I have here is the uh, electronics. Now these two bags are actually the same size so they fit together like bricks. So there's two smaller packing cubes and one larger one which I use for uh, this one here which I use for the clothing. So in here I've got my phone charger and my Scross travel adapter. Uh, I also have been using this ultra compact and lightweight Quechua uh, 10 liter bag. Uh, here I also have my laptop uh, Surface Pro uh, charging brick. Um, I've got an ethernet adapter here which I don't really use that much. I've got a Bluetooth mouse. I also have the scale, um, the phone, kind of like a mini selfie stick but it's like a, a tripod stand that folds out. And that's about it for the electronics and miscellaneous. So I also have here a um, kind of electronics camera bag sort of stuff. I am using the um, GX85 to film this and that fit uh, just in the top here. So I also have a Rode lapel microphone um, and the Rode video mic me I believe it is. Uh, extra lens, lens cover, camera charger, and a few extra straps and charging cables in here. And this is the Temba 4 case, which is pretty good. So onto the clothing. So in addition to what I'm wearing now, um, I took these shorts, which I actually will be doing a review on very shortly. These are actually the Western Rise uh, Colorado shorts which are quite similar to outliers um, and they are uh, also usable as like a swim short. I have uh, two pairs of underwear including one that I'm wearing. These are merino wool. Uh, one pair of socks that I'm wearing and an extra pair here. I took uh, one, two, three merino wool t-shirts and I'm wearing the outlier merino co-pivot and this is the wool and prints button-up shirt. So that's pretty much everything for the clothing. Now inside this bag, which has a clamshell opening as you can see, there are two Velcro pockets. And this one I've been putting my uh, headphones in. Down here I have my merino wool buff. There are two zipped pockets here. Here I have a couple of um, souvenirs. Uh, and here I just have a couple of uh, pills like aspirin and that sort of thing. Here you'll see a discreet label which has the name of the bag and uh, where it's made. Here you can put a tablet or even your laptop if you want to. Now onto the rear pocket. So now in the rear pocket you can see I've added a little extra area for organizing your passport and electronics and it's quite easily accessible and separate from your main compartment so you don't have to completely unpack your main compartment to reach uh, the essentials. So what I've got here is uh, an external hard drive 
and I've got a battery pack here and this back pocket is actually a velcro pocket with one big compartment but when it's connected at the top with velcro it kind of divides these into two pockets which hold them nicely in place there's two pen pockets here and two passport size pockets one which I have a notebook in and one which has my passport there's a little pocket here which doesn't have any fastener but I found it useful to use for my two wallets so this is the wallet that I use when I'm in Australia and when I switch out my wallet for traveling with different currencies and cards in it I can just pop that in here in between the trips the back you have a laptop compartment which can fit up to roughly a 17 inch uh, laptop and finally there's a zippered compartment here where you can put cards or coins or any other small items that you don't want to lose track of so the final part about this bag is that you can put the backpack straps in between this elastic area here which holds the straps in place temporarily while you're walking through the airport or stowing under a seat and by public request I also added this sternum strap here which is removable if you do not need a sternum strap and although it's not that easy to remove it is actually removable for the sake of it so you just slip this in between the strap here and you can add or remove a sternum strap depending on whether you need it or not so that's it the v1 pack from keepfold be sure to check it out on the kickstarter which is linked below and also be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos